After this video, you are going to finally understand if statements in Python. So we wrote all of this code last time in our build an interactive quiz in Python video. So if you haven't checked that out and you wanna learn how to build a quiz, check that out. But let's talk about if statements. So we have these if statements that we wrote last time and we're gonna come back to that. But I kinda of wanna start simple when talking about if statements. So I'm just gonna comment this out. So we're just gonna ignore all this code. You see it's like grayed out. And let's just talk about it. So like what I like about if statements is like when we're talking right now, like if is a word in like the English language that we use. So for example, I could be talking to my sister and I say like, if you don't bring home pizza tonight, then I am going to starve and be mad, you know, something like that. Or, you know, a classic example, if it is raining outside, then we will bring umbrellas. You know, like we use ifs, like that word all the time. And what's so great is that in coding, in Python, it means the same thing. So for example, what's that gonna look like is like, let's say if nine is greater than eight, let's print out, nine is greater than eight okay so now let me stop this and run our code so what i said is if nine is greater than eight then i want you to print or display this on the screen and you can see on the right hand side in the console area you see nine is greater than eight that got printed out but now let's print out something that is not true so for example zero is not greater than eight. So that's all I changed. I changed this number right here. I run our code. You see nothing is printed out in this console area. And that's because this did not come out to be true. It did not evaluate to be true. And that's kind of like what if statements are all about. Something I wanna point out is like the syntax of everything. So syntax is how we spell certain things. So for example, if, you know, if I did a typo and did like OF or something like that, you see I get that red underline. And that's because Python is letting me know like this syntax, the way you wrote it out, the way you spelled it, the grammar of everything of your code, I don't get it. So like that's why we have to be so precise with our code. But yeah, that's one part is that if part. And then what we have over here, people call this the condition. So the, like, is this condition true? Is this condition false? Is the conditional. So, you know, it's just like, is this true or false, you know? And then you have a colon right there. So, you know, if I did a semicolon, Python is like, what? Like, I am not understanding this. So if you run your code, it's gonna say invalid syntax and it even points to that semicolon. So make sure you just do a colon right there. And then something else about this is notice how I indented. So, you know, that red line popping up again, and that's because I did it in dense. So the way I like to think about the indentation is like, you know when you have bullet points, right? And then you have like sub bullet points. So what's happening is those sub bullet points is related to that main bullet point. So you can see how those two are related. So it's kind of like that in our code. Like, you know, this could be the main bullet point and then this is a sub bullet point. So that's kind of how my mind thinks about it. So just to be even more thorough about this, if true, then this will print out. So I just replaced that condition with true. And if we run our code, you see it is printed out. Something is displayed on the screen. However, if this is false, then it's gonna be like, okay, I checked this, this is false, so I am not going to do anything that's indented or related to that because that came out to be false. And as you can see, nothing is over here printed out. So that's kind of like what if statements are. We're controlling the flow of our program. We're saying if it's this, then we do in that. So now I wanna show you a real example of some code that we wrote and the if statements that we had. So we have this interactive quiz and we're calculating the points that the user has. And I even added this print statement so you can see that happening. 
So for example, you know, if you want to learn more about this code, I have a part one. So go check that out, build a quiz. But uh, yeah, so the user's answering questions. So are you a risk taker? I could say, no. Do you believe in the future of crypto? No, Elon Musk or Stefan Graham. And I switched his name. I realized after that's actually Graham Stefan and not Stefan Graham, but ah, you know, I'm human. <laughs> so then I say, this is points and I got one point. So that's me answering no, no, one. So what happens if points is zero? Nope, points is not zero. If points is one, yep, points is one. So it prints out this. Mm, maybe you should do research, okay? And that's exactly what's over here. So you can kind of see what's happening, but there's actually a way that we could improve this code. And we're gonna talk about LIF. So if you're liking these videos, please let me know. I'm not sure if y'all wanna see more Python tutorials from me, just because there's a lot of Python tutorials out there. And I don't know if you need my explanation, if that makes sense. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I have footage of me talking about Elif and Else in Python. So if you wanna see that, let me know in the comments below. Let me know you made it to this point. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one, y'all.